Here's Johnny! But what I do have, I have a very particular set of skills. Daddy! Go ahead. Make my day. Keep the change, you filthy animal. I love the smell of night time in the morning. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? And like that, he's gone. If you've been listening to the podcast long enough, then you know that I love horror films. And I'll usually sit through all of them, even the bad ones. So it should mean a lot when I tell you that I could not finish the Panos Cosmatos horror action film, Mandy. And I just keep reading review after review, praising the film that I thought was just in a nutshell, stupid. It's a revenge film that stars Nicolas Cage as Red Miller, a hippie cult leader, Jeremiah Sand decides that he's in lust with Red's girlfriend, Mandy, after they drive past her walking on the road. Later that night, the cult members drop some high-quality LSD and summon a demonic biker gang to help them break into the couple's home and subdue them. After Mandy rejects Sand's sexual advances, he ties up Red and burns Mandy alive in front of him. So the next day, after the cult leaves him with a pile of his girlfriend's ashes, Red does the logical thing and retrieves his trusty crossbow from his friend Carruthers, then forges a battle axe and goes after the demon bikers and cult members to take his revenge. What? I mean, I am all for suspension of disbelief in film, but for me, there were just too many jumps from reality to make this one story one bit believable. Crit Critics are talking about how original the film is and about the amazing visuals. Now, sure, there are some cool trippy shots during the scenes where they dropped acid, but that doesn't make up for the many, many plot holes and jumps in logic that made the film just not work for me. I feel like I probably would have appreciated a little bit more had I dropped some acid myself. So, rant over. I didn't get it. If you've seen the film, or if you want to check it out for yourself, please write me, brian at grillfilmschool.com, and explain it to me. In the meantime, we just wrapped up our 48-hour film horror project filmmaking weekend here in Cleveland, where 28 different teams of filmmakers made their own short horror films in 48 hours. Now, I haven't seen them all yet, but I've been pretty impressed with the ones I've watched so far. None of them have Nicolas Cage, but you probably don't need to drop acid to appreciate them either. If you want to see these films up on the big screen to see for yourself what can be done in just a weekend, they'll be screening in Cleveland next Tuesday, October 23rd at Atlas Cinemas Lakeshore 7 in Euclid up on the largest digital screen in Cleveland to an auditorium filled with horror film fans. If you'd like to join in on the Gore Fest, get all the screening info in the link that I'll put in the description below. Remember, if you want to learn how to make better films and act on camera, Guerrilla Film School has got you covered. We put together a free training video on how directors and actors can work together on set. You can get instant access to this free training right now by going to guerrillafilmschool.com slash training. He's gone. Thank mm -hmm. you.